Hello and welcome to the Tomgo's room on TryHacking. This room is based on an Apache Tomcat server vulnerability that's called GhostCat. It's the CVE 2020-9038 and it affects the Apache JSERV protocol. So, I already did an map scan so we see what's going on. The SSH we're gonna use later. This is the, the problem, the vulnerability, the Apache JSERV and for that we're gonna need a script. If you're using a Kali or Parrot OS, the script is already in your uh, uh, machine. If not, you can download it from the internet. I'm gonna put some links in the descriptions. So, next step, if you want to find the script on your system, the easy way is just to search by the, the name. And this is the path to the script that we're gonna use. I copied the script to the desktop so we don't waste time. You're gonna type the script name and the IP address that you're gonna copy from here. When I hit enter, the script will return a file from the server. We shouldn't get that file. And here is the file that we get. You got credentials here. It's the name and the password. I'm going to split this up. Next step is to SSH into that. The name. And the IP address. And enter. Now we need to copy the password in. Enter. And we are in. Now, in this directory we have two files that we need for later it's the credential and the try hacking i already did this machine that's why i have some weird names here maybe you don't have them here next step is to get this credential to your machine but first let's take the first flag that's in here you go back you go to this and here's the flag that you need okay let's go back I'm gonna secure copy the files from this server to my desktop. I'm gonna put the IP address in, uh, the IP address, and now I'm gonna tell which directory it's in. So I want the whole directory to my desktop, and I need to put paste in the password that I already have copied. Now, these files are on my desktop. These are the files that we need. These files here are, I, I already, I copied them in by mistake or because I already did the machine. So, this is the key to this. You're gonna open a terminal and do this. The name of the try. like this and you're gonna export that to a file I'm gonna cast it call it just pass after I do that enter I'm gonna use John the name of the file the format to this and I'm gonna add show to see what's going on this is the credential that we need, the name. Now we do import the key, import, after importing that we decrypt the second one, the credential, and then we do that like this and enter the name of the credential. And we're gonna ask us for a password. The password is the name that we got from the file before. When I open this, we will get this, and this is the user and the password. Just copy the password from that user, copy, and now we go back to the 
SSH where we were. Just SU to Maryland. Enter. Oh, sorry. SU Maryland. And copy into password. Paste into password. We are in the machine. The next step, you can find it on the internet explanations how and why. You just need to do df dollar sign sudo sudo zip df e etc hosts t t again double t s h and after we press enter we will get root root see after that we can go back once more where this and just cd into root and this is the root text that we need